points on Anchor Zero. I put him up front. That's a six point character. That's expensive. Yeah. Okay, I can think of a lot better way to spend my money, but who am I to say? First match of the ratio tournament. Let's go. Ooh, up start gets the anti here. Can't quite get the full confirm though, unfortunately, with those bolts, but they still work out. Ghost Rider, obviously, a pretty strong match for the Nemesis. Yeah, man. You can literally just press whatever button you want. Even Jump S is very good in approaching. Yeah, you can stop a lot of the uh, the different attempts at projectiles for Nemesis as well. Uh, back heavy with the pillar. Actually, really, really good for being able to stop a lot of different projectiles. Even the high durability ones like Nemesis. But, you know, we ride out into the sunset. Okay, I like that. I like that. Spend one bar here. Nope. Gonna keep the Ghost Rider in. And with quick work. Okay, so that's very sneaky when Ghost Rider is actually kind of close there. Yeah, it actually does threaten uh, a pseudo, uh, a potential unblockable, depending on the timings here. But again, Nemesis not being able to get much done. It's really difficult to really find any hits in situations like this. There we go. Jump S again. Look for the chip here. Got to look for a hard attack or something. Super, super, I yeah. think is a good call for sure. And you already know that has the hyper armor, so you got to watch out. And six Cannon does connect. Rise and see another DHC instead it's the red hot kick to go down with the dive kick very nice. That's actually kind of crazy. Luigi was literally pixel away from losing Nemesis and then how quickly it changes like that when B Blue loses Ghost Rider. Comes out here, is gonna go for the DHC, does get the hit on the assist, but isn't able to get too much extra, just gets that little bit of chip on zero. But again, this is your your six point monster in the back here, half his life gone. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that one, that's for sure. Rep G coming through 30 months? Oh man, I appreciate the support, man, for real. Oh! That's, yeah, I just read that. I hate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice confirm though. Gets rid of the Joe. Set yourself up. And there we go. That left right mix with the teleport is deadly and squeezes the TAC out of it. Okay, but didn't uh, miss the uh, OTG there. So obviously going to go into uh, a little reset here. I'm very curious to see what the 6.0 is going to do. Yeah, I mean, it's got to do something here. You invested so many of your resources into it, an anti-air crouching medium off the rip. The buttons are good enough to make this thing work. Yeah, that seems worth six points right now. Oh, man, I be. Maybe not. Oh, dude, not six points worth of blocking, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just level three him. You got it. No surprises there. Oh, nice. oh you got X. That's invincible on startup, baby. You got to slow down. Get some of that health back. Maybe get some Genmu started. Mm, lots of trades, but you can't afford trades at this point. Nice for the level two buster. All right, this mix right here is non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little unfortunate. He said, that's not meaty. I can throw through that. I mean, I, I, I think Blue got mixed there for sure, because like, there's no way he just teleports into me and gets thrown, right? I mean, I got mixed. Oh, man. Here we go, full connection. OTG a little too far, so doesn't get much, but still keeps him locked out. That was deja vu from the last round. Right there at the top, not gonna get anything off of it though. Fine, threatening with the jump H. A little fire breath for the fans, a little too far for that one, but that's okay. Almost got them both with the quick work, but here we go, Nemesis getting it going. I love watching Nemesis. That's my favorite part about ratio tournaments. This character is low points, High value. Get a little bit of Nemesis enjoy yourself. Uh, yeah. No, I'll be hitting up the Evermind. <laughs> you know, I, it's too early to be starting that nonsense <laughs> today. Oh, man. Tip comes out from Deadpool, trying to get away now. Jump medium twice in a row, doesn't find anything for it. It's hard to even put him in the pineapple surprise spot because Joe has so many acts in the air. He can just avoid it. A plus with a pretty good projectile of his own, obviously. Boomerang is, uh, especially when it's charged, relatively deadly. Oh, for sure. But Deadpool's not going to allow you the time to get away with that. I don't like the way Luigi's really using Joe. I feel like he's not really like a Joe player, maybe? I don't think I've seen Luigi use Joe before, but I could be wrong. I think it's on his main team. Is it? I think he plays Joe, Akuma, and Zero, I think. Chad, am I wrong? Luigi is a Joe player? I, I just Maybe it's just this one game. I like the way he used a nemesis to, oh, I did until that. Oh, off for the snap, gonna take care of the zero, but no, great throw here from Luigi, easy X Factor. There we go. A little bit of heavy lifting with that, uh, the expensive one. 
stuff up. So Genmu, a little bit of the same stuff. Nice block, though, from B Blue. And he gets the up back. He's out of there. Almost. Good throw. Yeah, I got the kill. Easy as X Factor is running out. No, come on, man. Can't keep getting thrown on your own incoming mix up. Oh, and now Zero has to block the incoming himself. Wow, the second eye. What was that? He said that he's going to teleport. He has to. Oh, he's going to get chipped out here. He's got one more meter on deck. He just got to avoid the level three situation, right? Oh, there it goes. And he was aware of that because he could have just leveled one right there and yep. then the level three could have came out. All right, come on, Luigi. Turn this thing around. We got to see some more work from this nemesis here. And Joe's got to get a little more active. He just felt like he hasn't had much impact, like you said. I, I feel like nemesis is doing fine, at least in this matchup, right? Pinnacle versus chain. That's pretty close. Ooh, check it out. Jump S doing a lot of work here for Ghost Rider. Jump S and Jump H are both yes. so good at being able to stuff not only the aerial approach, but stuff him on the ground. But there's the dash up low. Bruh, that takes so... Oh, no, he's got to stop missing that launcher. Ooh, what a trade there for B-Blue. Now, I feel like quite often Luigi is going for the rocket instead of going for the tentacle there on his jump, right? And obviously one is significantly faster than the other. All right, let's see if he does better with Joe here in game three. There we go. Caught him this time. He can't quite close the distance though fast enough to get pressure on Deadpool, so he does get away. And this is just classic B Blue stuff. I mean, he is another player that's playing one of those shells. He has two pieces of his main team right in front of him here. Right now, that's all you need. I just feel like if Joe can actually get some of the boomerangs charged, that would help start up. Yeah, but like you said, it's just it's really hard against Deadpool because he has uh, so many different angles he can shoot his projectiles at. He is going to be able to interact with you pretty much no matter where you go. Joe goes down all up to the zero, and he gets pulled right away, dude. The X Factor here, more than enough bar to finish this off. Damn, there you go. B Blue shoots him up. It's going to take it three games straight. The Ghost Rider. Looking pretty good, but off the back of Deadpool in the end of that one. Deadpool doing some more exchange as well, man. People are a, a very good team comp going for in the ratio tonight. Damn. I feel like uh, I feel like Luigi could have played better there because I've seen them play before, and they are so good. Agar is an essential part of the team, though. We'll see if uh, we'll see if he can make it work here. Ghost Rider does obviously provide the. Oh, oh. he's definitely making it work. Ooh, Ghost Rider actually does a good job being able to save him on the other side. I love that assist call there. Oh, is he gonna, he's eating lead of his own right here. Hard tack back in here, calling the drones. Excellent stuff. Oh. Oh, my. oh, just a little bit short on the OTG from Ghost Rider though. Obviously that's the character he swapped out from his main team. So trying to get used to that. Ooh, a little bit of damage there. Yeah, I gotta watch out for TJ. That's looking like a lot of bit of damage right now. <laughs> Going prone? Okay, Legend, I see you. I don't know if that's strategic or if he's just trying to mess with his opponent sometimes. I think that was a flex. Listen, new Call of Duty just came out. We drop shot. That's yeah, all right. We got, <laughs> we got those. Oh, my God. Picked him up again. Too far for the flamethrower, though. I wouldn't have worked on him. Any he's from hell. That just yeah. should add to it. That should recover. <laughs> he should recover health. Oh, you know what does work on him, though? These massive rockets here. Yeah, he's trying to jump for the meaty. Oh. Second jump. That Magnum was so smart, dude. On point. Easy X Factor here for Legend. Should be able to kill Sentinel very easily. Yeah, you really can't beat the familiarity that Living Legend has with his character here. Oh, tried to go for the clap twice in a row. But unfortunately, I mean, we talk about this all the time. Hulk is one of the worst anchors in the game. Oh, without a doubt. And that should have been a kill right there. He's letting them live. Oh, I thought we were going to get it. I thought we were going to get the demon. Oh, another situation. And maybe he's looking for it. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, <laughs> that's my hero. Living legend. Let's go. Bro, as soon as he saw the teleport, he got enough. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs>
And Living Legend's son popping off in the chat as well. That's what I'm talking about. This is how you do it, son. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's our DP there was trying to beat out what we saw the snap last time. Nice conversion, but he'd already used his ground bounce there. Doesn't matter, finds another one. He's killing everything. I love it, man. The frame traps with the gamma charges. Going for the snap, going after Akuma. I think that's the right call here from TJ. <gasps> that oh, that, that all comboed. <laughs> Dude, I'm impressed with TJ again this week. Bro, TJ's good. Oh. Almost caught him there. Now, Living Legend, this is the one character Legend has swapped out here. Wolverine in instead of uh, instead of where he would normally have Wesker. Wolverine's only three points. Even though Wolverine is a better character than Wesker, we don't see a lot of Wolverine. So, and Wesker is one of those characters I feel like everybody can play. What a command throw after the little hop there. Still not able to OTG it though. I don't think he's practiced that enough. It almost doesn't seem like it has the range. And he, you can do it. It is very much possible. It's just that that's the character that TJ doesn't play on his main team, so probably just not familiar with him. Oh, oh what a snap. I love that there. The pretty much snap was the only option, really, if you didn't want to spend more meter, go for an X-Factor. Our drive, X-Factor easy from Legend here to get out of the corner. Oh, oh what oh. a trade. Yeah, the grenade definitely put him right back. Good position here for Legend. Too far there, the heavy does not connect. Nice block as he lands. Punish on Wolverine and gets Chris just barely, but not enough to kill. Things not looking too good for Legend in this game here. Low health on both of these characters. No Akuma left, no X Factor left. What's he gonna do? All up to Wolverine here on the way in. Look at that duck da uh, under. Dude, you been watching Sack Tap? Yeah, put the shoulder down with the cross up? That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I like that. Got a little bit of tech. Oh, oh, no way. Yes, we definitely got them both here. Sentinel's gone, so this makes the rest of the combo easier. He's going for the snap. He wants to leave it to just Hulk here. Magnum does connect. That's a lot of damage. He's going to get the kill here. Now, here's the problem, though. I mean, I would have left Ghost Rider in the back because that's a character TJ's not <laughs> familiar with. Never mind. He knows exactly what he's doing. It's like that pizza TikTok. Oh. He know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm gonna make two to one. You said that and I instantly clicked. <laughs> Damn, well back to it again. Potential for it to finish right here. I love that hard tag, right? Like with the flame grenade. That was ridiculous. How do you break Hulk's neck, bro? Look at that thick neck. Does it even have one? He has Kurt Angle neck. There's no way you can. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're getting your hands around it. <laughs> Super on incoming. Okay, hard drive out. Really good option there. TJ definitely knew what to look for. He said there's no way you're leaving me with Anchor Hulk again. Yeah, ideally, he would want Sentinel in the anchor position. That's the character he's super familiar with. Oh, and the flame grenade went away just in time, but not able to convert. Got a neutral jump instead of a forward one there. Oh, what a magnum hit Sentinel as well. Hulk chip range, there it is. Bringing out the Wolverine here against the tin can. Oh, he almost had that. No situation, just the jump, hard drive, just because he doesn't want to have to guess as he lands into the bike and runs him over. That's an adamantium bike. Oh, watch out for the Harley, dude. <gasps> I cannot believe that got behind him. <laughs> it was like a little Ghost Rider mix. He just jump over him real quickly. Dude, Street Fighter type stuff. Two characters to two. Yeah, but unfortunately, this is not a really, it's not really a fair two characters here. This is two characters from Living Legends' main team, and TJ's got, got one. And Ghost Rider. And that one is Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> and just extra, Sentinel. Which is extra annoying. Tries to roll forward, doesn't find anything for it. All up to the robot. He's going to hard drive out? Nope. He's in block stun. Yeah, I see it working. Yeah, Living Legend getting a little too greedy with it. He might pay the ultimate price. Uh oh. Guess for game. Oh, as the neck breaker comes, so does a $300 contribution to the match arena from Art 
forged. Jesus, bro. Ooh. Damn, we playing for some money tonight, huh? Let's go. Damn, Arc Forge, Arc Forge said there wasn't enough Black Friday deals today, so I'm going to spend it here. <laughs> Damn, a living legend. You know, one step closer to the uh, the now beefed up prize pool. Jesus, man. He said, Yo. thank God that match is over before that game is. <laughs> about to be in game. Speaking of people being able to play their main team, Captain Troy, Troy is playing his main team as well. The Justin Wong team, you know. Realistically, I'm going to keep it real with you. The reason we have the, the Justin Wong team just at 10 points is so we hope that one day Justin Wong just wants to play. You know what I mean? <laughs> Justin, if you're listening, yeah. your team is exactly correct for this. This is for you. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to hit us with an infinite. I thought he was going to go on the flight mode with Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, instead, Tatsu actually ends up clearing out, tries to call the Tatsu of his own, can't find the touch. Yeah, we got Tatsu on both sides here, I just realized. Man, you definitely can't count out Captain Troy here, but you also can't count out this charged up spinning bird kick. You better not drop her. Oh, there oh. it is. <laughs> he let it go anyway, he don't care. And this might chip out here. That's gonna hit, yeah, Kyosha. All right, now Chun-Li being low health doesn't feel so bad. Back in the Akuma though, letting Chun-Li recover some help. Now we've seen Eccentric play a lot of anchor Chun-Li before. He's so fast in X-Factor 3, so no surprises there. Let's walk on the way down through, but still Captain Troy is able to find that touch, goes for the launcher. Not gonna invest in the team super though, even though it might have killed Akuma. It definitely would have. <laughs> DP assist. Oh, that's not good, Eccentric. Giving hands to everybody with Akuma here. Yeah, I think Captain Troy definitely should have spent the resources there to kill Akuma. But hey, man, you play the game how you want. And the best part is Stormy, you just do the two buttons. Jump over. Oh, wow, that crossed up. Ryu mix-up. The rare and elusive Ryu mix-up. When's he ever hitting you with tricky stuff? <laughs> I already got hit by that. Let's be real. So good start. Try to get aggressive here. Dash is out of there, actually. Maybe meant for it to be a push block, but either way, the dive kick, the back of the head. It just feels so bad when you get hit by counter hit uh, dive kick. Now that infinite ended at zero hits, unfortunately. <laughs> How long is this loop for? Forever. No, this is why, why Accenture is <laughs> one of my favorite players, bro. You kidding me right now? Oh my god, and it kills him! He said, yo, Team Street Fighter got some damage, though. Oh. oh. He does get hit by a lot of counter hit dive kicks, though. That's two in this game alone. I'm sorry, that's two between this game and last game. No, oh, I think it was this game. Two in this matter. game, one last game. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely got to be careful here. But, I mean, when you're playing characters like Chumley, you got to push some buttons, you know? Mm. Unfortunately, pushes the wrong ones, though. Even though that DP was sick, does not work out in the end. X-Factor cancel and just gets checked low. Was trying to hold up, it looks like. That's such a tricky mix-up when you do the dive kick early and then puts you kind of in a fuzzy guard with the Tatsu afterwards. They don't need nothing tricky here. Just another loop. And Captain Choi just on the board here. I like this. This is going to be a close match for sure. Maybe Eccentric about to get serious with his business here. Oh, there it is. Good start. Oh, drop though. Yeah, ended up in a weird tech chase situation. Gets the extra hit on Akuma, but Captain Troy closes the distance and gets the anti here. Smart stuff. After a snap, wants to take out Akuma. Good Tatsu on the way down. All right, what are we doing with this throw here? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> no. Oh, no! <laughs> There's so much going wrong for both <laughs> of these players, and really not either one of these players' fault. That's just how it goes sometimes. Oh, dude, good blocks, and he's able to kill the rest of the oh, that conversion. And he converts. I can Almost. <laughs> Off the Tatsu, good throw from Troy here. You still got the Kuma, yeah. You've got to be careful doing those light Tatsus. It's a great strategy against most characters, but Wolverine, with his smaller stature. And of course, his fast movement just gets around him so easily. That's not gonna hit, I think he techs. No, it does, oh, it does. just yeah. in time. That's why you like the two button tech for that. Storm always OTGs. It does come out a lot faster as well, so that's the big thing. I think Proxy was thinking that it was a little too slow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
X Factor 3, we were talking about it before. If there was anyone to make the comeback here with the anchor. That feels hella Street Fighter 6. I like the way he's throwing that fireball. Oh, look at that juggle! No! All she needs is a little drive impact, bro. Could you imagine? Oh, I like this. No, I don't like this! <laughs> Good Ex stuff. Eccentric's got plenty of X-Factor 3 time, though. The Wolverine is moving so fast and using the Tatsu assist there to keep himself safe. Captain Troy is going to be able to get the lead here. Kill just enough. You know, even though I can't see the players, I can feel Eccentric being like, okay, oh, you think you're good, huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're about to play for real now. Look at that. Oh, got them both here. What a start here. Look at how much meter he builds on this combo. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, he, need, he needs to start Chun Li every single time, bro. I mean, he does, but still, like, that is a Phoenix team for sure. So much damage. Almost got Wolverine. Going for the chip out. Hard tag instead. Easy X Factor from Accenture. I'm just saying, I ain't seen Ryan Elvis Chun Li do that. Oh, let's go. But I've seen Justin Wong's Akuma do that before. Dude, the can opener one hit at a time. Up and down. And he just Tatsu's in, not a care in the world, a perfect to answer. What did I tell you, bro? You I told right. you Eccentric was like, oh, oh, you think you can play? Oh, it's on now. And it definitely was. Oh, Ooh. that crossed up with the follow up Hadouken. Oh, shout out to the homie Shattercoin coming through with the sub. 27 months with us. You've been hanging with us for a while, homie. There we go. Spend one more. Should get the kill here on Wolverine. I feel like that's the character that's most threatening on this team, almost to Sentry. He's charging this fireball, but unfortunately, he's going to get closed out because of it. Yo, Arc Forge coming through with another $100 contribution to the Macharino. That Macharino is definitely well over 400 Let's go. Let's get it to 420 exactly. <laughs> yeah, he falls through with the Tatsu. Super comes out with the DHC. Easily going to kill. Very nice. Wolverine coming in low health right here. Oh, just so clean. Oh, that's on the other side. Forced to X Factor there. Captain Troy on his last character, last chance to win it. That's a good start, though. That's the Justin Wong team, Justin Wong type opener. Nice launcher. Here we go. Fireball. Look for the dive kick. Oh, if he got palm there, maybe it would have worked. He just needs to wait out this X Factor here. Even then, though, Captain Choi is in a position where he can kill Ryu off one touch. That dash forward S. Oh, this is so much pressure here. Oh, and the level three, the Raging Demon. He wasted all his money. Okay. Does get the clean hit again, though. Oh, Can't no. quite try to go for the little bit of harder combo to optimize, gain some more meter. This is a one hit game now for either player. Low and steady. Seems to oh. be the pace instead. He turns it up at the last second. What a clean hit. Bruh, hit him with the Alex Valle, bro. Rush that shit down. Okay. Should be able to do it here. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Narrowly escapes this match. Stays on winner's side. Eccentric with that Chun Li work. <laughs> here we go. Nick Bad coming up against Dark Salad here. Oh, Nick Bad gonna bring the Felicia to the table? Okay. I mean, he's, listen, that's one of our characters we discounted here. He knows a value pick when he sees it. Oh. <laughs> All through Maya. What a throw here, though. Oh, he got a little throw, and that's the one thing to beat Phoenix Wright's Maya. You know, you really can't hit him at all. Arc Forge with seventy-seven dollars and sixteen cents. He said, "Get this prize pool to five hundred dollars." Right, ain't no discount in the winnings today. That's for sure. <laughs> Big shouts to Arc Forge, man. Once again, can't say it enough. Ooh, not enough to kill though. But yeah, that jump, is jump back anti ground kick. A little key charge to boot as well. Ooh, double kick out. Nice, good evasion from that. Nick Bad, yeah, Nick Bad, of course, pushing a button there from full screen with Felicia. Why not? He said, this might work. That's the Nick Bad way, bro. I ain't talked enough trash about Nick Bad in a while. You know what I mean? Oh, Nick Bad kind of good. 
Moneybacks coming through with the three dollar twenty one cent contribution. Damn, off the throw, easily gonna be able to get the kill set up for the mix here. Captain America just pretty casually double jumps out of it. He said, "I don't think I will." Oh, uh, a little Civil War action, Jesus! <laughs> Captain America stare down here, staggered pressure with the crouching lights. That's when, like, uh, in MCU, when uh, Cap has to knock Cap out. <laughs> Yo, Reed Dastity, I hope you're okay. I hope you're not in the hospital for anything bad, homie. But, uh, yeah, hopefully the internet picks up for you. Watching on the phone at 480p is good enough usually, though. Oh, oh no! my Holy God, Christ. you're gone. Dar Salad might be the better Captain America here. It oh. got the back dash. Yes, sir. Oh, oh my no! God. That wasn't here. even a low. That wasn't even a low. He hit him with a crouch medium. Oh, <laughs> salad! Bro, Nick Bad chokes it. Oh my God! Bro, you got to demote Nick Bad's Captain America now. What's below Captain? Is Captain know. a real position? Uh, he's private. Real that's Private America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't he a private? <laughs> that's Private America. <laughs> Uh, and like, can, uh, can, uh, canonically, I don't know how to pronounce that. Canonically? Yeah, canonically, is, is, does Captain America actually have a real rank? I mean, he was in the, he was in the uh, military, though. Yeah, I don't but, know what his actual rank was. Look, I just watched the movie. Was bro. it just Captain? I hate y'all. He <laughs> said, so speaking of Captain, Olympic? Captain of the Reddit squad? Olympics? Oh, my God. Three years being subbed with us. Big shout out to the homie Olympic. My boy. That super didn't even combo, by the way. That nah, he, just, <laughs> he just got hit. He just got hit. Double no. kick, same side. For those of you that don't know, Olympic is one of the one of the founding, founding supporters of TNS and Marvel 3. Been around the game for a while. Now he works on the railroad. Gotta start singing the song now. <laughs> Jumped up in the anti-air. Did he did his assist go up? Does he have upward shield assist? Is that a thing? He hit him so far. I don't I don't think that's a thing. Maybe it was a DP. It had to be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got charging star assist, DP assist, and shield slash assist in his leg. I just, keep, I just saw Captain America come out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, bro, oh my God. Get the kill with the super, though. DHC, easy peasy, down to the last character here. See if Akuma can do the heavy lifting. Zetsu says Steve Rogers is actually a colonel in the comics, but a captain Damn. in the MCU. I believe Zetsu over all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Zetsu wrote it so confident, confidently, I just I can't. It has to be true. Yeah. The capitalization of punctuation is perfect. Yeah, I, can't, I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The Rogers is a colonel, sure is corny. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> oh, my dad, bro. <laughs> Got the low. Very nice here from Felicia. Oh, okay. A little bit of meter, too? Just because. Delta kick on the trade here. Oh, wow. Oh, once again, just rushing down with the lows. We should doing some work here for Nick Bad. Oh. He pressed. Yeah, of course he pressed. Yeah. That's Nick Bad. Nick Bad is the pressing machine. Okay, well, we get, well, only able to get two searches off of that, though, so still a couple more items to go. There's third, and unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Nick Bad. He did a full on block string while into my issue, bro. He did not <laughs> care, bro. This dude had potatoes for Thanksgiving and it was definitely mashed, all right? Oh, he's charging up hella. How much meter does she gain per second? I don't know. It didn't seem like a lot. Maybe like a third between that. Okay. Dashes up and is able to find the low again. Nick bad. Sometimes the pressure works out. Gotta get the kitty helper going though. Oh, ops for the reset off the toy touch. You think he's going to use Kitty Helper? He doesn't know how to OTG it. <laughs> <laughs> he's used Kitty Helper. But it can help you. Nick Bad knows exactly as much Felicia as I do, which is the amount you absorb from getting your ass beat by Larry. Shouts to Dr. Salt. Yeah. Hard <laughs> attack getting away with it. Anti ground kick hit. All right, Dar Salad's X Factor wasted away here. He needs to get in and fast. How did Nick Bad keep himself from doing Charging Star in that situation? There's no way. That's the most, I think Nick Bad had to unplug his controller and plug it back in. 
Oh, but he misses the shield scan. He doesn't even get the OTG. That's tough. He could have had Cap dead to rights right there. Oh, the drop again. Sal just spends it, though. Was committed to the bit. It's all up to Akuma with the screen tear. Able to catch here for Nick Bad. Uh, easy team super here for the kill. Okay. You know, Nick Bad, that I'm in there. I hear y'all talking, but we're still here. Yo, Ryan the Mime coming through with the $50 contribution to the match arena. Big shouts to Ryan the Mime. You may be a mime, but we hear you loud and clear, baby. You like this ratio stuff. And we're going to switch up to the Ghost Rider and here. And Hawkeye. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think the captain was working so good. Why would you get away from that? She just naturally <laughs> low profiles that. That's tough. Oh, misses out on the grab as well. So the hit grab does not work out. That's uh, two incredibly tough combos dropped in a row. The charge here. One more hit, though. Felicia's out. Wow. No, but yeah, you can't do anything after jumping age from uh, from him. So it, in the end, it still works out, but that's tough. What S placement, man. I can't remember. Is chain a projectile or a physical hit? Physical hit, I believe. Okay, I so think Wesker can parry it. Okay, so he can definitely blow up Charging Star then if he's not careful. I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Captain Joe coming through with the sub. 32 months with us. Big shouts to the UK Marvel scene. Big shouts to Captain Joe. Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Still don't know what that means. I haven't watched that show yet still. I know they told me it was from a TV show. He's found him down. We go. Got the level three. Got the kill on Deadpool. Can he can he stop the Ghost Rider though? Ghost Rider was doing some work here for Dark Salad early on. Yeah, but it was doing work against Felicia, one of one of Nick's characters that is not his main team. I think he has a good idea of what he's trying to do though. He's using the uh, using the spire in pretty good places to stop the projectiles. Unfortunately oh. though, he came into the threat territory, and you know Nick is pressing. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Go got the super definitely enough. Use second bar here. I haven't seen Dark Salad's Hawkeye, so I mean this is a pretty good anchor if you can get free. Oh, oh my God, that one's hard to convert though. That one's not really Nick's fault there. A lot of things are Nick's fault, but <laughs> so far he's doing a great job of avoiding these projectiles, not taking too much chip. Dark Salad, gotta get to work on this if he wants to be able to get in it. Here comes the super. He is able to block, forces the X Factor. I mean, that's a good point right there. At least Nick Bad's able to get some health back, keep Cap alive, waste out Dark Salad's X Factor. Ooh, the Ooh. dashboard, nothing. I like that. Ooh, go. it's the twice page. in a row. He took a page out of Nova's book, the two slides in a row. Get away, Gimlet, get the kill on the chip here. Almost. You gotta watch out for time here. Oh, but ended it with the launcher on the block string, and you know that is hella punishable. And if not enough to kill though, so there is an opportunity. Level three is available. It's gonna go straight for scatter shot. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, you could have had the. Uh, could have linked gimlet, the gimlet. Yeah. Could have linked the gimlet 100%. Now you just waste them. Just chip, chip, chip. Oh, oh no Nick way! Pushes. You could have just blocked. If he holds back for two seconds, it's over. But he no. can't contain it. He said, "You gotta stop pressing." Uh, I'm not going. To. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Make me." <laughs> here we go. Nick Bad resets. Doing a good job getting this started here. Pressure into the wall. Oh, yeah, but the anti-air smart. There we go. Cash out. Get a lot of damage here. And keep the Ghost Rider in, believes in that. Oh, that Delta Kick just duffed him. Dad, who knows what that move is called from Felicia when she walks outside of the, the Z plane? I don't know what it's called. Someone I know has to know. I wish that I knew. Catwalk? Cat, is it just called Catwalk? No way. I believe you were more. Either way, you know, Ghost Rider. Catwalked out of there. Deadpool tries to jump away. Easy air throw to be able to stuff it. TG, force to the corner, okay. There's Kitty Helper. 
Oh. Okay. Still pressuring in the corner here. Deadpool not able to quite escape. Kitty Helper is laying down so much pressure. See, even though you don't know how to use it, it still works. Oh, no. I, I, come on. Come on, Nick Bad. Even you shouldn't have gotten hit there. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Hawkeye. All by his lonesome. Tries to go for the slide. Has to go for the X-Factor. Standing medium after the X-Factor. Doesn't get much. Oh, and you're gone. He can X-Factor. Hard knockdown here. He's going to build enough. Just enough here for the super. Should be it. Yeah, level one X-Factor is enough to be able to carry it. Good stuff from Nick Bad. Restabilizes to make it three to two. We ain't got, you know, we ain't really killing it like that, you know. So we just, we just use whatever we have. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go. We got that Hulk action coming up, though. Hulk in a suit versus Phoenix right in a suit. Who wears it better? I think Hulk does, man. He got the top hat. Oh, oh. Maya is. Dude, that's the support I need in my life. Right. She saved him <laughs> twice in a row, and he's still out here making mistakes. <laughs> yeah, to the max, though, blowing him up at every turn right now. Ruby Fiend coming through three months. Appreciate you, as always. Thank you for hanging out. Ratio, indeed. Ratio's the hot stuff, man. I always appreciate it when we get to have a ratio tournament. We go. Okay, look for the jump. S. Game of charge back to the corner. Almost gets the uh, command throw here. Oi, okay. Arc Forge! Bro, Arc Forge gifting the 10 subs as well. Dude, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, looking for grapple. Not going to have an easy punish here. Yeah, I feel like Dante's pretty good once he's away from Hulk, but if Hulk's able to start getting pressure going, Dante's kind of a lost puppy in that spot. Dante can fight fine, but you don't want to be close. You're going to yeah. try and land your stingers and stand ends. Stinger stand M, Crystal, unfortunately, Deadpool, you know, gets chucked. Oh, good blocks that from Xeno. Oh, okay. Great throw. Understands the situation. That was smart, that was smart, that was smart. He had to go for some kind of cancel afterwards as well, but unfortunately, I think the only super he could have canceled into would have been the judge, but he wasn't in, uh, he was still in investigation and not in trial, so, it wouldn't so he couldn't have done yeah. it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only input the uh, the super with the judge when you're in trial mode. Oh, or good what, a call. What is that called? Not trial mode. Uh, turnabout mode? Turnabout is the final one. Is it uh, prosecution mode? In, it's investigation is the one he has now with the thing. Trial. Trial mode, thank you. Okay, good double jump out. Reverb Shock does connect. Okay, use the million dollars here. May have to X-Factor this. If this doesn't kill, then I it think won't. it was not a mistake to X-Factor. You should have X-Factored. Against Tudemek, you've got to kill Hulk, dude. Hulk's going to give you most of the problems here. I mean, look at that. Just jump light over the guns, able to get the easy confirm here. And then again, the follow-up throw from Tudemax after the drop. Not asleep at the wheel. And now you lose Deadpool for that. That's a rough one. Coming into Dante, looking for the double jump, and then just checks him right away. Dante not going to get much more mileage out of it. Unfortunately, his oh. days are numbered except Miss times it goes for something kind of weird here. Maya comes out to block the damage, oh, but unfortunately no. Dante gets the brunt of it here. There's the X Factor. Jam session got blown up. And that's like one of the uh, things of solace in this matchup for Hulk. Gamma Wave is really good for getting past Maya because oh, the yeah. projectile doesn't stop. It keeps creating projectiles. He's going to try and level three. Yeah, he's definitely going to try. And it's there. It's time. That was it. Oh, oh my God. Careful how you jump. It's like one of those things where you see Ghost Rider like ominously trying to get close to you. You're like, that, that's Yeah, it. no, too obvious, too obvious. <laughs> oh, that's what fine. A... That counts. No, he didn't get it. But that's with <laughs> a low off the tech chase. Oh my god, too obvious, man. You got to do it, dude. The anti-air one is the one. Oh. That's the truth. That's how you get him. I was, I was gonna say E back. Yeah, that Ghost Rider skin is actually pretty dope. That was the bait, Remy. Whiff command throw into X-Factor air throw 
counts as the command throw hitting, in my mind. It's like comboing into the <laughs> command throw. It counts. It does count. <laughs> There we go, easy hit here for two to max. Opting for the snap, wants to go after the jam session, Rightly, rightfully so. Oh my god, unfortunately Dante does not work out in that Ooh. spot. He uses the Ooh. wall bounce from there. That's a cute extension. Oh no, Helmbreaker just getting blown up from the H. Looking for the clap at the top, command throw again. Good evasion here from Zeno though. Decides to put the meter out there, try to get Phoenix right in. That's true, this is the second player to play Meteor's team. The Meteor's, a, team. the Meteor's and Ass team is a, uh, is a powerful one. Game of charge, a lot of damage there on Deadpool. One more. Oh, he had, a, he had him with the chip right there. Ooh. Ooh. Getting away with the tag is big, goes for the super jump, does manage to escape. I love that second jump to get himself to the ground faster. The idea was perfect, but the execution, unfortunately, gets him a fist to the face. <laughs> it just happens like that. X Factor here from Zeno. You have you have the evidence. You just gotta land the hit. Feels like his items for zoning are also not super great right now, because it's mostly straight line projectiles, which Hulk is actually surprisingly adept at avoiding. Okay, here, gonna try to get the unblockable. No, good tech forward. There's the super. Ooh, X Factor is about to run out as well here. Again, these horizontal projectiles, while they are mildly effective, unfortunately, are not going to be enough. As Tudor Max is going to be able to find a touch, the clean finish, three games to zero. That's true. I mean, or your Wolverine can just be good enough to run things over. Which he can, which he yeah, can do, but absolutely. then we're starting off with the mirror here. Oh my god. Same brain cell. Speaking <laughs> of the mirror, they are going to go straight for the same thing. I do want to mention, by the way, I haven't said it yet today. I want to say it now, especially now that we're in game so we can have YouTube involved as well. Today is production's birthday. Mr. TNS Lucas's birthday is happening right now. So everybody in chat, make sure you wish a happy birthday to production as well as the YouTube comments. Can I get a happy birthday production in the chat in the uh, in the YouTube comments for me this time? It'd make me so happy. Or just good camera work, Lucas. Yeah, that would also be great. But huge shouts to uh, to him. Happy birthday. Yeah, man. Wonderful he, stuff. He's the one on the backside doing all the hard work there. You know, we're just talking. Every time we yell at production, it's him. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucas from the streets. Yes, sir. But here we go. Continuing forward here. Joker. Oh, okay, meaty on the tech chase there. Looking good for Hunduran, though. I was going to say, Joker was looking like he was sitting on a pretty decent lead here, but after the uh, after the switch out, things are getting a little messy. Looking for the meaty. Okay, jump H. Almost got it off the Tatsu. That's him on the TNS channel today, guys. That's <laughs> who you can add if you want to talk to him. <laughs> good dash out. Okay. So one thing, it's one of the good things Storm does has is the mobility. Storm has amazing mobility. Oh yeah, absolutely. A great control as well uh, within that mobility. But there's the super to blow up Goki. Dang, Akuma just got destroyed. Oh, but full screen is able to get him there. What a snipe. Nothing to follow up. Hail Storm, okay, well out of that. Don't even have to deal with it. Clean hit. Okay, Hadern, I see you. Okay, he's got the right combo too, that's good. Two on deck, more than enough. Okay, all up to Wolverine here. Honduran has to think about popping this X. Kuma needs some help. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see that X Factor for sure. Punish, <gasps> okay, oh, yeah, 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 but still yeah, yeah. goes for the mix, still goes for the mix. But dropped it there, Swiss Cheese does connect here for Joker, but just a little too far away. Hailstorm going to add the chip up, and that should be it. Hunter first on the board. So what happened in that mix-up in the corner, for anybody that does not know, Storm is similar to certain other characters like Strider, where uh, if she presses up to jump, if she presses up again, she can cancel her jump with a float. So she can cancel her jump ridiculously low to the ground and get crazy instant overhead. Especially when you cancel the S. Yeah, so that's how, that's how she's getting that S so low to the ground. It's very sneaky. It's a cool mechanic. Speaking of cool mechanic, Joker doing some work here with the Wolverine. Bro, he has used Swiss oh. cheese effectively twice now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two more times than I ever thought I'd see. Here we go, got the drones follow up. Okay, yes. Yeah, I gotta love it. Dive kick wins out here for Joker. 
the age cross up, able to confirm off the drones. Oh no, drop the spike there. <laughs> Venus, he gets the flag he asked for. <laughs> if they don't request a flag, they get a flag based on where they lo list themselves on start.gg. That's why Honduran doesn't have a Honduran flag. <laughs> Tell him to bring it up to corporate, AKA production, AKA birthday boy. That's not that's over my tax bracket. <laughs> Super to come through. He said, AKA Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Instant overhead to follow as well. Dude, nice follow up. Go Joker getting on the board as well. We got a tied game here now. Damn, it's a little bit slow down here for Joker. He said, hold on, we gotta take a second on that. Yeah, maybe just thinking things through, maybe gonna go for the swap. No, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna stick it out. I am low-key impressed with Honduran right now. This Wolverine's pretty good, and actually his Storm's doing Storm a lot of work. Fine. Too. Oh, okay. That jump light almost got it with the drill call. There we go. Okay, got a TAC. No ops for the reset. It's very sneaky when Wolverine's uh, dash in, stand jab, and then uh, do the dive kick right away. Okay, it's an overhead dealt with here. Like, I feel like Joker has more tech Ooh. than him. He's doing more tech stuff. But Honduran is just like winning, you know what I mean? Tatsu. <laughs> Tatsu's a hell of an assist. Let's be real here. Tatsu with Wolverine is uh, extremely good, but there we are. Got the Berserker Charge. Oh, I'm sorry, the TAC. We got Storm. We do this? not have those, no. We're going no, to just keep Absolutely. it simple. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't opt to spin. I mean, we, you know it's Iron Man, but you still got to be careful. This is Joker's Iron Man. Oh, but was a little too far there. Gets popped up into the air, so he has to block this. He's going to expect her to save Iron Man. Got the drums on the follow-up. And right now, Hadern's doing a very good job of being evasive, just not putting himself in bad situations with Storm. And, and an ice one comes out. Looking good. Dude, it's Sentinel. This is such a struggle matchup here against Wolverine. He's able to climb the tree so easily. The threat of the high is as natural as the threat of the low in this matchup. Oh, especially. I mean, never mind. Okay. Got it. No, too far. It's a lot of work here for Joker, but I mean, if any Sentinel could do it. It's definitely this one. And this is a genuinely effective strategy against Wolverine. Those drones are actually very good against him. It forces him to jump, or he just oh. has to crouch. There's the punish. He was looking for it. Storm's gone. If you Plasma Storm, maybe force X Factor right here. Oh, ops not to. Slow and steady. I like it. X Factor, really? Did he press, though? Oh, good patience from Honduran until not. Oh, a little too early on the screen tear. All you gotta do is evade though. Just don't take a fireball. Don't take any extra damage. X Vector does run out now. I don't think Sentinel kills in one hit, even with a super optimal combo. Akuma Maybe definitely kills. builds two. Is that my boy Bowie? 44 months? 44 months for the homie. Dude, That's shout crazy. out to you. Appreciate it, man. Did a charity stream today, by the way. Make sure you check him out. You can see obviously his Twitch channel right there. So hit the homie up. Five seconds left. Hunteran has to make something happen right now. Don't spit. Just chill. Super jump. Yup. We're out of there. Yes, Joker. sir. <laughs> Joker 2 experience of a player. You're not going to let that happen. Oh, my God. Smart, dude. Goes into flight, says, get me out of here, bro. And now, nah, here we go. This is what we were expecting. I mean, he got one off Joker with that team. So that's definitely a win here, but... Bring out the zero. You already know that's what he wants to play. It's his bread and butter. So that's zero, six, storm two, Arthur two? Sounds about right, my guy. I know Arthur's two, and storm should be two as well. All right, well, I mean, Arthur assist obviously very, very strong, and we've seen Honduran's uh, storm. Dag this works. Daggers with uh, zero is actually kind of good. Dude, and he has gold daggers now? Yes. It's time. And we're just going to zone? That's how you feel? Oh, damn it. He, he was very close to losing zero early. 
Okay, got the Buster charge. That's when you gotta watch out. Cross under. If Zero gets hit by anything though, and Joker X Factors, he's dead. Such yeah, that's it. Spot. He's gone. This should be enough here. <gasps> no, it goes jump loop. He raw tags out of it. He said, "Now we gotta save him." Hail Storm. Okay, look for some chip here. Alpha counter. Gonna bring in Iron Man. I like it because you're bringing him in safely. You get let Wolverine get some health back. Dagger and go for the high. Lights goes down. Ooh. Air to air, clean. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Luckily, Arthur didn't get caught. Okay, look for the meat. Just a little late, though. All right, so again, we started up here for Honduran. Joker's just gonna avoid most of it until now. Yeah, <laughs> for most of it. For yeah, most yeah, of it. yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's the one of the hard things about playing this game is that. Uh, most of the time doesn't matter. Uh, it's that one final time. What happened? <laughs> always, always. Look at the smart bomb. All you need is a little bit of chip here to get Iron Man out. And boy, that air dash is terrible. That was just the worst, <laughs> the worst blink dash you've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Tracks him down and finds the low. Because that Iron Man beam does keep him on the ground, but he drops the combo again. Nice jump out of the X Factor, and he finds the cross up. No, not that drop. Dude, Joker's getting so many hits, but he's not turning them to kills. Oh, my. If this was fencing, <laughs> it'd be over. <laughs> cross under, able to get it with the daggers. This could be it. Okay, got the Sogan move. Gonna need one or two loops, and then drops it. Gotta watch out. He has X Factor. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, not going to be even able to spend it here. Sets it up two to two. Honduran back in it with the zero. Oh, okay. Got the DP, hard tag. Beam does save out, though. Okay. And he got this last time, but it still ended up very, very close. Joker just has to convert hits. That's it. He's hitting him every. He's won the point war every time. Yeah, that one drop combo cost him because he lost Wolverine immediately after. Look, man, I'm going to tell you right now how it's going to play out. Joker is going to win with Iron Man right here. Joker's not going to lose another character after Wolverine. Hmm. I want to believe. I'll believe it. Okay, I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't completed any loops tonight, so he might, he might still be in there. We all make mistakes, man. Tonight? The Night Hunter, has, has he ever completed loops in his life? Oh, he's going to tag, oh. right? No, it's going to be all down to Sentinel. You jump. Oh, good blocks. Okay, not able to punish those. So he still has an opportunity. I did a chunk of damage there on Arthur. All right, Joker, you can't be too patient here. Oh, was looking for the jump back throw there. Does release the buster to be able to stop things. Missed out on another opportunity for offense. Yeah, he's just way too patient right now with it. X Factor is already out of the picture for Joker. Oh, okay. What an H. No, just went a little bit too early there. Okay. Now, is she going to stay in this? No, of course not. Ooh, looks so much. Look at that bait on that. All right, but no punish there from Honduran. He does not know how to punish that. You got to push block all the way to the end and then mash the throw. Again with a jumping heavy. It doesn't work for the second time. Damn, Sentinel sucks, but Honduran sucks even more, luckily. <laughs> oh, and that's going to catch Storm potentially. She uh, still falls out. Yeah, bro. Slippery, slippery. Almost. What? I don't know what that confirmed would have been. Joker's got to make something happen here. Oh, with the daggers. Oh, and all comboed as well. Dude, in the end, it looked like Joker was betting on him to go for the Justin Wong, but Honduran says, you know, I'm gonna carve my own destiny. We're going high this time. So We're heard, changing fate. So I heard what Tong said. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can be very aggressive, but still have some uh, still have some zoning there at the same time. And then Ryu sucks. <laughs> A well balanced breakfast. On start gets the air throw. 
Doesn't find much else for it, though. And he is calling Westcrest just a neutral. Yeah, you got to be careful. Samurai's Edge is not a good neutral tool. Extension? Yes, godlike. Yeah, as DHC goes, it is Wesker coming in second, so it's not that much damage, but it is enough. Especially when you're in the corner. You need to get that one mid-screen, but that one's going to kill, and oh, off the mix-up, able to catch here. Oh, he was trying something there. Yeah, a cute idea. Yeah, I like yeah. that. A little unfortunate that that doesn't work out, but still okay. Super comes through. X-Factor, able to confirm. Oh, not quite. And he got the tag in. He says, mirror match me, dog. <laughs> Tots on the way down. Yes, both Tots is clear. Zempo looking good here. Great position, bringing in the Akuma. Oh, no, can't get away with that teleport for free. Yuli was coming in pressing. Oh, I think he thought he had time to call an assist there, though. He's going to throw him. Oh, no. Shahado Shoryuken. Oh, no, he didn't have time, but still he's able to block. As long as they're blocking. Block high at the beginning. There we go. That's a punish. A fire hydrant. Yes. Oh, that's mega punish right there. He might lose Wesker. Not quite. Still a huge advantage here. Your flip didn't get much. Mm. Raw super from Wesker. Also not going to get much, but the DHC is going to get everything. Wow. My man just got scorched, like <laughs> legit. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud. That was the first time I used that word correctly. Oh. <laughs> I've never used that. Ah, he said, take it down, Scorch, bro. <laughs> Scouch. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, DI backwards. Kind of messed that up. Okay, tripping things out a little bit at a time. Does have that Hadoken assist, which is a surprisingly decent projectile assist. It works. Like, you never think it will, but it just goes so slow that you can kind of Street Fighter Six it and run behind it. Tatsu, though. Ever present, clearing things out. Does actually prevent it from getting the punish in that spot, but still okay. I like the little check with the jab. I knew you were literally about. I, we yep. looked at each other, he <laughs> said, Yep. That's the fine wine of Marvel, is, is doing something and then doing nothing to see what they do about it. Oh, it sets up the next sequence, man. Because you already know he likes to do that. You can cancel it into Pineapple Surprise, call assist, and then, you know, get some of the press. Ooh, we're for standing heavy. Face things out to a pretty weird angle here. Dash underneath, not gonna find it. Launcher maybe. Ah, uh, tried to block Phantom instead. Dance. That was hard. That was like the old school Marvel there, where Phantom Dance would catch and you would just X Factor, or you couldn't X Factor back then, but you just catch DHC out. It just felt so hard to block back in the day. Hated that. Yeah. Uh oh, mixed them up there. Level three came out on accident. Not enough though. It's ratio. You take what you can get. That's very true. What an air throw. Oh. oh, okay. Fakes across under. Goes up. Jump H. Semble. Making a very clean mix. And then the spotlight to finish. I like that from Zempool. Good follow-ups and a good way to close the game. I love it when Ryu's used the uh, Fire Hadouken. Like, I love it. You don't need to. But you do anyways. I think in the corner, I think it's optimal. Because you do that, yeah, you use your oh. you use your wall bounce with uh with Donkey Kick, and then you wall bounce again with that into Tatsu, I think it's the most damage. What are these confirms? That was off a quick work Hadoken. Damn, shoot them once. That pool's be shooting a lot of bullets. Let's just say I just need one. <laughs> Remember the teleport, but right now Zimple's doing a very good job in the zoning game. Team Hyper Super, gonna catch, easy X Factor. Got a little bit mixed up there, because you actually couldn't even see your character behind the Hadoken. Dude, the shoot up does get hit on Wesker. Connects again, and this is both, ouch. That's it. Zimple just. Blowing it up on the happy birthday there. Yeah, Fry, I saw that question, and if that is a serious question, uh, Virgil is banned because that's such a strong strategy. Doing two trash characters in the Virgil, just picking like Thor, She-Hulk, that have a lot of health pool to gain a ton of meter. I mean, at this point in the game's lifespan, we've been watching it for years, we've all seen Virgil come in and destroy people's main team. 
What do you think is going to happen in a ratio? <laughs> There you go, the only one bar required for the kill. Zempool in a good position here. Good teleport out here from Yuli. Oh, again, great throw, but no, misses the OTG. Happy, happy trigger. Able to catch the assist a little bit, kind of slow Yuli down. Then what a slide answer here from Zempool. Easy X Factor, trying to get the kill on Wesker as he wastes the X Factor out. It's gonna be close, yes, yeah, just enough. And this is really bad for Yuli here, all up to the uh, the ordinary guy, and it looks like things might be up for him here. He's oh. not gonna kill off this touch, I don't think. He dropped, and then uh, picked it back up with quick work. Jesus, well, in that case, very easily gonna kill with the two bars. That's gonna be Zempool. Playing his main team. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, the, hey, main team, win -win. the main team is Deadpool now. Deadpool's strong, man. Like we were talking earlier in the ratio, like Deadpool is a very popular character around the ratio. I was with my uh, my other family. <laughs> you messed up. <laughs> oh my god! But here we go. It's gonna be the Viper. Okay, I like this. Solid bones coming through with a raid of 146. Hey, good to see you, homie. Hope everything's been well. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you, homie. To, Definitely uh, doing big things. I get to see some of this ratio action and the first Viper of the night. Thank you, Ramora. Absolutely. And he's going to play with the Ami as well. Ooh. It's definitely cool to get to see. Ami Iron Man? That's actually kind of strong. You got the Beam with her and uh, Cold Star. You get a really good mix up between high low with that. This is like oh. this is a budget full schedule. Budget. Is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. EX Thunder Knuckle able to make it happen or Seismo. Oh. Then the unblockable. If your character doesn't have some kind of air dash or something of the sort, that is genuinely a true unblockable. You fall into a Matarasu and you have no way to be able to get out of it. Is this superior Iron Man skin? I think it is. He's camoed in Vaughn Wonderland. This is oh. scum tactics. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the infinite. He you Genuinely are. impressed that Ramora has these two. This is not the I'm hardest not. infinite I'm ever. Not, though. This is not the hardest infinite, but I'm surprised when people have infinites on not their main team. Oh no! Oh, again! That's why this is uh, very cheap. Yeah. Viper going back to the four after this tournament. <laughs> Jesus, Viper is so cool. It's honestly one of the my favorite one of my favorite characters to watch that I don't play other than Scroll. I wish I played her. I can barely play her. I just can't do size mode. Dude. Rapid I can do size mode when I'm like, playing a cross up. I get like three of them, and then I'm like, man, this is hard. Yeah, my hand hurts. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, he was charging focus at that time. Interesting choice there from Ramora. Does not Ooh. work out in the end. Nice track down from Legend. Going for the snap. Going to bring in the dog. Easy confirm here for Legend. Yep, got it. X Factor because you got to take rid of, you got to take away Cold Star, so no more unblockables. I will say though that most of the unblockables that he fell into were avoidable. Could have gone Drill Claw with the Wolverine. Uh, Could have gone Demon Flip with Akuma potentially. Oh, Tatsu clears. Okay, Legend, nice. you got him. You said NorCal Vipers were crazy. Uh, there's only one Viper that we care about here in this house. And it's the Florida Viper. I was a uh, full schedule. I like watching. Oh, we my like boy. the other Vipers. Too. I like watching my boy Ricky play. <laughs> hey, you know, Static Alpha. That's the homie too. Static you know, Alpha got a good Viper as well. Great, but, you know, I just, when I have the opportunity for regional bias, oh boy. <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's every coming time, up. Every time. Air to air does not connect. Still in a weird spot here. Chris doing a good job of zoning oh. until he gets decked in the face, bro. The bionic arm. Go, got to start here. X Factor almost gets the unblockable. Swiss cheese, not quite finishing it up though, but the beam is gonna clean here up for Lamora. Another for unknown. Unknown on the list too. I wasn't gonna list every single Viper, you know. I like unknown's Wesker. <laughs> is Wesker with the Sentinel? Lucky he might be my favorite Sentinel, yeah. Okay. Oh. Try to go for EX. Oh. Burn kick to get out of the corner. Ends up getting clipped by both. Living legend, the two for one special, Black Friday indeed. Mm. Ah, do burn, you right. <laughs> More of that. I, I gotta think about that real quick, man. It was just that one assist call. You gotta watch out, man. He has been buffering Tatsu 
like on almost on reversal pretty consistently and it's actually kind of killing people he's been <laughs> destroying people with raw tatsu tatsu clears bro especially akuma's so good the dive kick on the way down. Iron Man. Okay, Remora definitely got the size mode, though. All that size mode just to get hit by Tatsu, though. Oh, what a check. Dude, even if that was a push block, that's a great press. Yeah. I always like to give the benefit of the doubt to the players. You know? When you can. Yeah. There you go. Throw. Oh, that was so smart. Dude, actually was genius to put himself so far away. Then he gets the TAC. Oh, drops it, though. The one hard part is to pick up after the smart bomb. After that, it's kind of autopilot. And you just go with it, man. But, I mean, right now, Ramor is in a really good position. I mean, Chris is hurting. Wolverine is losing a little bit of health. Okay, never mind. We're about to lose Viper. Great conversion here from Legend. Oh, no, the drop. Raw launcher from Ramor. Able to clean it up now. Okay. That was like low key sneaky with like a little soft <laughs> jump. I mean, it was, but it's just <laughs> Mr. <Mrs>. Needy. <laughs> You're just unblockable, Chris. Unfortunately, looking shot up, though. Iron Man comes in, loses a ton of his life right away. Tries to go for the super, gets cooked. Kuma with the flame grenade. Okay, Okami shuffle does connect. X Factor, but you gotta watch out for the grenade. Did not. Yeah, had already come out with the tether here, and that dash lasts a very long time. And I don't think she has anything that she can do that can cancel out of it. Just cancel S, but that's about as fast as you can go. The cancel S loses to DP. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> loses, destroyed. especially Akuma's DP. You already know that was two buttons. Damn, living legend. Might do it again. You gonna change up for more? What you got for us? I believe the Team Hyper Super version of that uh, super does come out faster. Two frames. It's for most. It's for most supers. I thought it was all. Of them. Is it all? Yeah. I know that some supers. Maybe it is. For That's all. why we call it two frame or two button text. I think, is there a super that's oh. the same speed or faster without it? But I know there's some that don't, makes a big difference, like Storm. Don't ask me to do numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Remora, hey, Remora <laughs> pulling out the Tron, though. Dude, he has a Tron. I know. And uh, Arthur Dagger's assist, Loki is a great assist for her. Anything that is a multi-hitting horizontal assist is generally very strong for Tron. The slower, the better. This team's for zero. Like, I think her best assist is uh, is uh, drones. Drones is, drones is built for her. Drones, oh, because you get all the extensions, man. But yep. We ain't got no drones here. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see many of the Tron combos here if he's going to be able to get confirms like that. Did you see that little back yep. dash in between that? That was actually kind of sneaky. Gustav, fire off the teleport. Great throw from Legend. Automatically knows who he has to X-Factor and take care of. I, but unfortunately, this X-Factor is not converted into a kill, which is really the most important thing here. Uh-oh. That's both of them right there. Remora. Yes, every time. Just level one X Factor, level one again. A little S sneak in there for some more damage. Moore is in good position for this game. Oh, this one's over. Yeah, there you go. Level two. Close him out. Nice from Amora. Makes it two to two. Living legend. A slight change up here. Is that all? All, all I needed was zero. That was it. You find that first hit no matter what you X Factor. It just was oh. a drop combo last time. Yeah, I was going to say, Legend had the right idea. You got the hit early. X Factor honestly had zero dead. I'm also surprised he doesn't start Chris here. If only just because the, yeah, I was going to say, the matchup he's more familiar with. Uh, the higher potential to be able to convert when you go for your X Factor oh. because it's something you're used to. But there we go. That's rough, man. Dagger, stand H, so much range, able to convert it all. There we go, a little bit of so Genmu here. Should be enough. Okay, one more. Good position going into Wolverine here. Okay, cut back is good. Off of Gustav Fire? Wow, yeah, using the Gustav Fire to great effect. Amazing conversion. He's also going to snap, and it's going to get the clean hit. Dude, Ramora, a zero game. A zero game, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and the one fortunate thing for Ramora here, Akuma doesn't have a lot of health, so you should be able to finish this before the game uh, runs out. That's how Rel, I see you, bro. 
Okay, blocked up for the most part. Nice X-Factor. He's free. It takes one dive kick, Proxy. That's it, bro. Oh! Tried to go up and find the pro. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. And there you go. Very nice. Aurora with the switch up is going to be able to finish it off. Three games to two. A close one. But, you know, zero going zero. He did. He definitely did that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's on me. Back into it again, though. It's going to be Chris Ami Wesker here. Trying to seal the deal. On the other side, it's going to be Modoc. Modoc, Dante, Hisenko? That's actually a very good team. Especially if you get gold armor off with like jam session and Modoc, that's it's too that's too much to deal with. Yes, X does mean Virgil is banned. Oh, try to jump up. Try to get the air throw. Not gonna work out. Oh, clean connection there for jump man. So much for the intelligence, you're gonna die. I don't care how smart you are. Ain't smart enough to not get hit. There we go, cash out. Good look for jump in here, though. Oh, no. Poor Hasenko. Never mind. Poor Chris. Yeah, and unfortunately, she can't really. Uh, she's great at creating space because she has a very exceptionally good grounded back dash. She does have a really good back dash. That, that is one thing. Moving forward, though, is very difficult. Oh, no. Did the gong hard tag Dante in and still got punished because a flame grenade so strong. Mm, and then straight into level three. All the elements to assault and finish it up. Bro, get that out of here, bro. Oh, good press from Mothman on the incoming. Still got a lot of work to do here, but got to keep the gold armor up. Hyper hey, armor with the bomb. Oh, the... He got the stagger too, but the gold armor runs out in the middle of the confirm. That's so smart from Jumpman. All you really need to do in that spot is just block it out as best you can. As soon as gold armor is up, you know you're gonna have your opportunity. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, generally some people will opt to start the Senko so you can get the super and then find a way to get the other characters in right away with the, uh, with the gong. Okay, with dash to avoid things. Laser tries to go down with the S, gets the trade, but the trade is not good enough in this spot. It's heavily in Jumpman's favor. Great conversion, push to the corner here, two button tech, more than enough. He just got hit by every element out there. Boy, and then the low to follow. That was kind of sneaky. Now you might want to opt for a snap here. Like that, meaty, cold star, keeping Dante locked down. Unblockable, oh Dude. my goodness, and jump it, man. It feels really natural the way he kind of progresses into it too. Gets a, whoa! <laughs> Dude. The self alley-oop? Is that soft knockdown? Do we know that's gonna work? Brother. That was sick. Jump man's so, jump man's so good though. And again, for Hasenko. <laughs> She has so much work to do. I mean, fortunately for Mothman, you still have X Factor. Oh, and the flame grenade on the ground. Not aware of that. Jumpman should be able to take this one. Damn. Jumpman is so sick. He threw it off the backboard. <laughs> oh, my God. What a cool confirm. And, you know, and the crazy thing is it's been like all Chris Redfield. His Amaterasu is... God. That blue ambi color is also so cool. It's it's fire. The whole team synergy, man. Cinco Modoc, okay. I'm switching up the order it looks like here. Maybe we're gonna start Shinko? Try and go gold armor tag. I think that's the way. Anytime you gotta play one of these teams, you usually wanna opt for that. I mean that's just kinda how PZ does it though. To be Ooh. fair, it's pretty safe to quote the Probably the greatest Shinko player ever to uh, on there the way that they play it. Oh, for sure. Because, like, if you played like Modoc with like Dorito and then you have a Shinko, you kind of call that or Jam Session, you can kind of get away with that. 
Ay, air throw, nice tech. Gotta give a jump away. Oh, and converts from full screen because he's able to get the cold star. Get him out, DAC. Okay, gold armor set up here from Mothman. It, it, it just already feels like, obviously, Modok has like no health right now, but it feels like Mothman has so much work to do. Aye, but he misses out. Jumps in with the shotgun, not gonna find anything. Oh. Gets the jumping S again, dude. The setup, it's so slick. It feels like it's just part of his normal block string at that point, because the way and the timing he's calling it, it just sets up perfectly. There we go, got the super, yep. Oh no, dropped it there. Mothman definitely had a chance. Okay, look for the S on the way down. Mothman having trouble getting this approach here. Okami Shuffle does connect even that high. Oh yeah, the trade out there, easy stuff here for Jumpman. Gonna take that 3-0 over Mothman. Dude, Jumpman, impressive as always. You love to get to see him be, uh, I don't know. It was all the Chris though. He was unlocked. It was all Chris, like we didn't even see Ami, just for a sys call, she'd make a cameo once in a while. So for LT, he's gonna rock. Okay, so this is a uh, this is uh, something I think a lot of people will do. They'll just throw a one point onto two characters they like to play. The Magneto and the Sentinel obviously working really well together, but with that She-Hulk in place, that character's not getting played. In a perfect world, yeah, he's trying not to ever. See yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> you're trying. You're trying to rock Mag drones. Let's be real. You know, it might have been a Nick's best interest to just X Factor Magneto there and leave him stuck with She-Hulk Sentinel, right? Yeah, I agree. Because now he's just throwing She-Hulk away so Magneto gets some health, and at least he has an anchor Magneto at that point. Or sent he needs to be looking for a snap here. Yeah, he just tries to TAC. He doesn't have combos. He ain't got to look that. Oh, no. Please snap, Nick Bat. Oh, he's going to kill. Because, yeah. Because <laughs> that's what Nick does. Damn it, Nick. You're wasting all your resources on the wrong person. Nick has never had a strategy, bro. He learned a combo, and he was like, I'm going to play. So that's it. <laughs> that's the end game. It's an odd DHC, though. Gets his team back into order for the two meter. Does work out in the end. Oh, there we go. Nick knows exactly what he's doing. This is all part of the strategy. Oh, How could no. I ever doubt the great Nick? Uh-oh. Uh, not quite enough. Uh-oh. There's no way. Okay. There's no way. <laughs> Hey, listen, there's a will, there's a way. I've seen some crazy come. <laughs> well, Lobo Terminator's name is not Will, unfortunately, so there is no Will here. Damn, so one game to Nick Bad. I like that. He's here. The Ghost Rider. I mean, wasn't this a team that he played, like, very seriously at one point? Uh, maybe. I, he definitely, he's definitely played some Ghost Rider in the past. Like, he's not a he's not a novice when it comes to Ghost Rider. LT sticking with the same team, though. He was definitely thinking about it for a second. He loses one more game, he's gonna bring in Spencer. Oi, jumping heavy. Ooh, great confirm off the M and the drones. Okay, he's actually gonna be the one to look for a snap here. Up in the anchor Deadpool, Ooh. gets the high-low game. I think that a little too content to block there, which again is kind of weird, because we normally see him be pretty aggressive in spots like that. Like to play a lot of, called active defense. Active defense. <laughs> Oh, it's Storm more than enough. Deadpool's out of here. Oh, yeah, active defense. You know what I'm saying? like an active <laughs> ass whooping in progress. <laughs> oh, only able to pick up one with a shield slash. But you know what? He's true. He, was, he got a little greedy there. He was trying to pick up Sentinel as well. He's got enough meter. Why not? Oh, oh no, boy. Okay, okay. He's, there. He's, he's back now. He's back now. Just don't press here. Oh, how how do you? Oh, you know what? I he just saved him. Yeah, he's a genius. <laughs> My dude is a genius. He's oh, too smart. Uh, Look at him, Spire. I didn't, even, I didn't yeah. even see the line. <laughs> Don't even snap at this point. Sentinel's at pixel health. He can't regain anything. There's no point. Just, just let him come out and get chipped or force the X factor. You're I think, fine. I think that was his plan, anyways. Yeah, yeah. He can't hear me. <laughs> he has both on. He's like, Tong, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Now the players are the players are ten seconds ahead of us, so we're okay. I should have listened. 
Uh-oh. I mean, there's opportunity here. Oh, oh, oh I, I, he thought he was going to kill Sentinel, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh. he has the TAC. That's it. What does she hook assist to do with yeah. him? <laughs> <laughs> she said, I want something, missus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Nick Bad had that in the bag, brother. He had it in the bag. He was walking out the store with it. Security caught him and said, you got to pay for that. Oh, no. And the clean hit this time. Tries to set up oh. for the unblockable. Okay, a little cheeky stuff. That was kind of sneaky stuff. That's a 2012 mix-up, bro. That's a 2011 mix-up right there. Call the assist and just... Just do it. Hope right. they sit on the ground. Hey, listen, for LT, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, he ain't even hit puberty when the game came out, did he? He said, y'all can do this? It's like, it's like people rediscovering disco, and they're like, bro, I found these great albums. You're like, bro, shut up. <laughs> okay, good jump over the uh, drones there. And all that movement right there is very frustrating for Nick Bad. You know he wants to get in. Oh, no way. Behind the back? He got the behind the back assist on some Larry Bird. <laughs> that, that hit his Nike. Hey, easy DHC, easy kill. So here we go. It's the tag. Hey, and the uh, launcher, but it doesn't work out. You've got to use the double jump in that situation. After that first hit in the air on the correct side, you know it pushes you on the wrong side. You've got to use your, that's where your double jump comes in. Okay. Our drive comes through. Trying to go ground. for the tricky stuff again. That's not very tricky, though. He's only tricking himself, bro. Oh, my God. It's October's past, bro. It's been a while. Oh, almost clipped a little bit of Sentinel there. Sentinel's got some health coming in unless he goes for a snap here. That's Ooh. not a situation Nick Bat wants to be in. I feel like LT can play a little Sentinel if he has more than Pixel Health. Oh. Does that work? Oh, it's oh. Snowy X Factor for no reason. Just to die. You X Factor to die. Oh, no. Oh, and then a rare moment of hesitation. He doesn't get the launcher. I have never seen Nick Bat hesitate to push a button in my life. That is insane. Go get him. You're running out of X-Factor. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> All right, still not enough to kill here. He's going to need three more for, three more hits just to win the game. Oh, oh, what a slide into the drones. He needs two more. Oh, oh why would you do that? <laughs> Classic Nick Bad fashion there. Oh, no. Oh, uh, has to be an execution error. So unfortunate. Gets bonked for the fr uh, by the frying pan for his <laughs> troubles. Yeah, he got executed all right. Ready? Fight. All right, LT making his way here to top eight, potentially. That was weird. We'll call that nice tech, I guess. <laughs> the drone's putting it in overtime, stopping all of the attempts at the projectiles here, and he's able to get the full confirm here on the Ghost Rider. So, Fortunately, the, uh, Mr. Nicholas Cage here tries to set up for the unblockable, though. Almost caught. He caught him with the low, though. For the chip, yeah, playing it smart. Now, these last two games, Ghost Rider isn't doing a whole bunch there. LT has figured it out with Magneto. Obviously, Magneto destroys Ghost Rider in the matchup. Straight for the squeeze, which is definitely the right call here. I mean, this is the scariest character on the team for Nick Bat for sure. He'll let a charging star rip, you already know. Not enough. The TP. <laughs> oh. Somehow that worked out. Oh no, somehow it didn't work out. <laughs> and again. That should keep him in the air long enough, potentially. He tried to go for the throw. Second time's the charm. Tempest is like, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nice medium. Oh, it's a ground kick. He needs to go, go watch some more Ray Ray videos, bro. Hey, well, not going to kill off of this, but still, Sentinel in a really tough spot. 
Oh yeah, TK, hard drive, kick it all the way through. Unnecessary cartwheel there, but you know what? It's okay, we still got the pixel health. That's just enough. You can see the combo's looking much more comfortable here against the She-Hulk. Gonna spend the one bar, not enough to kill again. Oh. oh, he's gonna get chipped out. No, he avoids all the drones there. Oh, oh. no, not this time though. He charging starred right into the drone. Didn't realize he had zero meter. All right, but he's in a position to win it here. LT's got very little health on both characters. What a teleport, perfect timing. Okay, just like that, final decisions here. Goes for the double jump and tries to fly away. Oh, what are you gonna do, baby? What are you gonna do? You. Oh, the oh, polo! polo actually hits him on the backside! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jesus, man. Nick Man somehow clutches that one up and even set again. Uh, we didn't say the matches were going to be quality. We just, <laughs> we just promised entertainment, all right? They say, we didn't say what type of quality. But with the jumping S, does get the hit on the Sentinel. And is again using that pillar really well to be able to stop the, uh, the Mag Blast. Mag Blast and drones, man. All right, though. LT once again trying to set up That's some kind of unblockable or oh. mix up situation. It's all right. Wasted the X Factor on Ghost Rider. I think this is in Nick Bad's favor. This is no longer in Nick Bad's favor. Okay, we're back though. We're so back. Oh, oh. we caught him canceling S. Oh, but it goes back to the mid screen here, so I'm not sure what else he gets. Does actually get the charging star. Oh, he should have killed there. Oh. Kept it meterless. Hey, we'll take that. No way. We're going to pretend like that was a part of the plan. <laughs> X-Factor? No, no X-Factor. We're saving it. That hey, works. Save it to the end. I mean, even one thing in the chat is like, well, you just X-Factor, man. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Hey, got that clean hit, though. Should be enough to kill off of this spot. Yeah, he got this. Oh, no, I don't think that's going to combo on the Charging Star. Yeah, and Nick was thinking the same thing. He avoided that situation. Unfortunately, he was guns out. Oh, the but chip. Not enough. Even setting him full screen, though, should be enough at this point. And then the grenade to stop the attempt at the approach. Nick Bad able to pull it out, even with all the questionable decisions. Not just in Marvel, but in life. That's right, I'm looking at you. Thank you. Are these the teams? This is the team right here. Obviously, Mario playing what he normally does. The anchor Wolverine kind of making the name for himself on that one. Is Young Legend going to be able to make it happen, though, with Captain, Iron Fist, and Akuma? Yeah, Iron Fist is definitely something we see from him pretty often here. Go straight for the Super for Mario, though. Potential for the OTG. Sephiroth asked if we're doing KOF 13 tournaments with the rollback update. Quite potentially. We obviously uh, really enjoy doing KOF 15, so we might throw one in there every now and then. It wouldn't be a regular weekly thing, but. Yeah, a sick conversion there. Turns into a donkey kick and gets all the way to the corner. Can't kill, though. Looking for that stand down. Oh, got to get Iron Fist out. That's a good start. That's going to hit both. DT immediately because he knew the web ball was coming, wanted to clear the projectile. That's very smart. Yeah, web ball definitely would have stopped Iron Fist from that distance. So that makes a lot of sense there. Young Legend coming out of pools, having beaten Zen Pool and Mundank in pools, by the way. Yo, let's go. Happy birthday. This is a great start for Legend. I like father, like son. Yeah, the Kuma coming through. Ooh, oh, nice block from Mario. Yeah, and Mario's able to get rid of that Iron Fist assist. You know how pesky that thing can be. Oh, no, he went the wrong way with the DP Super. Great X-Factor, oh. and he had it. He had the game-winning hit. Now oh, Mario's got it. Dude, Mario coming through so quick with the dive kick. That was tense, tense, tense. Mario clutches, though. I think Young Legend didn't believe he actually got that hit, man. Start it again. Off the start, he gets the air throw. I like that. Only gets a super, though, so just a little bit of damage. But like you were saying before, in ratio, you take what you can get. Absolutely. 
Oh, he's getting a lot right now. But, oh. Kneecap. That's all it takes. <laughs> it's kind of sneaky with the web ball. How do you think a Captain America to the knee, though? Ooh, web ball sets up for the Tatsu a second time. There we go, cash out. Should be enough here. Yeah. Going to be on the back of Akuma here. Oh, but he gets the connection with the super here. This is a really nice start for Young Legend. Keeps it to one bar. Obviously, an X Factor level three. What a check, though. Ooh, almost got there in time with the teleport. Does get it with the dive kick, but doesn't believe in it. Oh, and Mario's going to be able to close it out with the Spider Man potentially. Okay, good flip, flip, flip block away. Goes for the super in the end. Oh, and just going to keep trying to go oh, for it. Does get the whip punish this time, though. I like where Young Legend is placing his teleports. Maybe even better than his dad. Oh, unfortunately, the teleports do not do enough. It's a clean hit again from Wario. Makes it two to zero now. Just got to believe in those dive kicks, man. Case of mind, the web ball is looking pretty good. Captain America's light shield skills obviously does a really good job of interrupting assists as well. Oh, wow. Jumped right between the shield and Captain America with the air to air and able to convert. <laughs> I didn't know he got the TAC after that, too. Boots him up for a third bar here. Potential for another DHC, and it is going to come through. Wow. He put it right in the perfect spot. <laughs> Oh, same side, web ball. <laughs> That's the laziest mix-up. <laughs> oh, no. Got caught there. Close quarters. Not able to beat Mario on the scramble, though. Mm, didn't get the capture state there. It already hit him with the light afterwards. Super comes through. What a chap from Mario there. Yeah, anti airs the demon flip with it. There you go, another super to close it. Mario looking so strong on his way through there, showing off the tech with the Ryu. What are you talking about? That's a web ball. No, he's an exceptional ball. There we go. Oh, we got somebody playing Trish now. That's always good. We did lower Trish for this tournament specifically, just because no one really used Trish the last time. I mean, it's the first time we're getting to see Scroll, Task, and Trish. Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, this list is not indicative of a tier list. It is totally based on how often we see players, and, you know, using certain characters. That's why Viper is a three on this list. Viper is one of the strongest characters in the game, but no one uses her on TNS. Same thing with Felicia. Felicia is a two on this list. We're not going to say that she's as bad as Nemesis, but, you know, just no one's using Felicia. He unfortunately goes for the wake up there. It's not going to work out. It's an easy jump over from Zempool, and he's able to get the air to air on the incoming. Three bars built up as well. Just goes for the reset in the end. Trish pretty easily able to jump out of that, though, but Deadpool does not mind Trish trying to zone against him. I mean, the one thing that she can do is fly and then use the stiletto kick. I mean, that's going to be the one you're going to want to use. Why is Magneto a five? I mean, five is pretty high. Five and six are the two highest scores you can get outside of Virgil, who's basically a 10. Oh yeah, solo Magneto is still pretty hard. We haven't had a Magneto win yet. I don't even think we've had a Magneto in top three of a ratio tournament. Not that I can remember. There you go, there's the follow-up, shoot him up. Scroll, unfortunately, not gonna get to see too much of the light of day. Two Hadokens in this future. Maybe just one. That's enough damage. <laughs> yeah, the X, man. Definitely going to cash out. First game down in the bag. Zempool looking strong already. And we're going to go for a little bit of a switch up here. Trish on point instead of the Taskmaster. Task was having a little bit of trouble getting started against the, uh, against the Deadpool. Connect with the dive kick in that spot, but wasn't comfortable. Wasn't at the right spacing to be able to potentially get the jab. 
So far, just using the low voltage, trying to be as risk adverse as possible. Standing heavy comes up from Deadpool, goes for the slide and does hit, but wasn't ready for it. There we go, a little bit more hopscotch. Definitely the call there, man. You gotta set the traps up for Trish. That's what makes her like pretty scary when she gets a chance. Unfortunately, that's just like the dichotomy with Deadpool. Deadpool doesn't even really have to interact with the traps, but there we go, the clean hit. Oh no, the drop. Oh, oh. great anti-air slide. Okay, so with that, backs things off and goes for the same side. Things kind of reset in the end. Ryu, on the other hand, needs to be approaching Trish, which is right where she wants to be. Ooh. Oh, he's definitely approaching Trish now. Okay, and then a little bit of the trickery with the left to right on the side switch gets the snap. Doesn't want to commit anything in that spot though. Kind of let scroll get away. High low again. Goes for the Tatsu. He's setting up that overhead again. Man, Zenpo's movement with the Ryu is very impressive. Finish. One more character to go. Taskmaster, not known as a super strong anchor, but he does have some high priority stuff to potentially get this started. Oh, the sharp stick catches the backdash there. Able to get a bunch of damage in with the arrows. He got through. Oh, and that's going to be able to hit Taskmaster eventually. Yes, sir. One beam right into the other. Oh, oh yeah, we're just waiting for him to come down. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to get the kill. Super doesn't even actually connect. Missed the TK, just a little too high on that. Oh, and able to land the shield skill, no sharp stick on that either. He snipe? No, unfortunately, he's pointing the wrong direction there. Does not have the aim of Hawkeye. Hey, so much as he talks about it. <laughs> 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 Two to zero. Dude, Zempool, another great one there. And the knowledge to know to have to point his Ryu super down, knowing he had time to get it all the way angled down to punish with the Akuma DHC. I mean, this has been the deciding part of the matchup a lot of the times is how Deadpool has interacted with Trish. It's been tough for him. Oh, The absolutely. Trish, rather. <laughs> yeah, Trish has not been able to get going, but... Keeping it up with the upper guns. Again, just keeping her off balance, not letting her get any of these projectiles started. Tries to find the room with the dive kick, but Tatsu is such a strong assist for clearing her out. Yeah, Trickular not really using a lot of Trisha's projectiles there in that neutral. He was just using the double jump to try to get in with the dive kick. I think a couple of projectiles might have slowed down Zenful a little bit. Oh, oh, got them both! Yeah, this is a good way to slow down Zenful. Pushes him down a little bit. Is it going to be able to DHC? It looks like, yeah, the scroll torch is just barely going to connect. And he's going to all oop to himself with the X Factor. Oh, oh <laughs> Zenpool! Try to get tricky with the mech up, but Zenpool is coming down swinging. Oh, the Ryu comeback? Maybe. We've seen it before, man. Try to catch Tree Killer pushing a the button there. He's got to be careful with these Tatsus. He could get blown up by shield skill at any moment. Oh my goodness, he sticks his fist in him. And that's gonna be it. Dude, the Shin Shoryu. One of my favorite loads. It's so simple, so beautiful. <laughs> what a way to finish, man. Good stuff to Zenpool. All right, what do you mean? He does what? He sticks his fist in him. He's <laughs> But it looks like he is going to go with the tried and true. There's going to be the Hagger and the Dormammu, and he's going to have that She-Hulk behind it. Both of them. I mean, St. Valentine, this is just his stuff, though. Yeah. St. Yeah. Valentine <laughs> actually main She-Hulk. Oh, maybe he needs to stop maining She-Hulk, though. Oh, Good check. A little bad luck there for Jason Kiddo. That should have worked normally. Yeah, Neutral Tech put him in a weird spot. Does get out in the end. Too far for the launcher, though, even with that good amount of damage and meter gain. Torpedo? Yes, we got the extensions. Still able to set the stalking flare up here. Get some charges. Double teleport. That was an unblockable with Torpedo, actually. Bro. <laughs> the way he timed that as well, too. 
Okay, sets up the flame carpet, and is pretty easily able to secure the jump loop afterwards. It's a really good showing so far from Kiddo. I love the mediums on Incoming with Doran, man. Especially when you got a flame carpet there, because you were able to do something afterwards, even if they block into that. Flame carpet, teleport, yeah, torpedo again, coming in clutch. Oh, okay. Runs up a little bit farther away after the Lariat. Tries to go for the down heavy in the air. It's not going to help out in the end. Kiddo finds a clean hit once again. He's going to be able to go straight into the dimension. A little marble action. I love this one, man. You play Marble Madness? No. You play that? No. no. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Any Marble Madness enjoyers chat? I don't even know what that is, bro. Danny Light was a little too far, oh. but the pipe is never too far. Good God. He got the tail end of that box, man. Torpedo again. Attack at the top. Shioka is just having so much trouble. I mean, how does she really approach Hagar when she gets too aggressive? That's what happens. Feels like they have the same game plan, but he just executes it so much more solidly. It's because Hagar's scary, man. You already know. There's the command throws, the pipe, headbutts. What are you going to do? Oh, and again, tries to set up for the... Uh, that's the non-blockable when it's not quite unblockable. Hard to blockable. You like that. Good follow-up here. OTG for the second time is going to build so much meter. And look how many hits. Only use like one or two hits, so like 18 hits of stalking flare left for a mix-up. Yeah, and the follow-up at the headbutt, man. Just so hard to block. Oh, man. Commander Redfield. Oh, but missed times it there. With the She-Hulk assist, you can tell he's a little unpracticed with it, because, you know. It happens, I'm sure, She-Hulk. yeah. Oi, okay. Best way to get away is Mustard Pie with the 1, 2, 3, 4, the 12, 34 coming through to the match arena. Thank you very, very much. And everyone who's helping claim those codes. Thank you to everybody. As we get this level 3, invulns everything. Still going to be invulnerable. Still going to be invulnerable. He said, I'm giving <laughs> She-Hulk, though. Kid that, was, that was planned, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I'll spend three just to make sure She Hulk gets blown up. Yo, what a throw! Trying to catch on the tech chase, but Flamethrower gonna win out for Valentine here. You are I, so brave for throwing that grenade. I kinda like it. It would have kept him in block stun if he didn't get forward. They pushed away though, used the flamethrower to pretty decent effect here. She's using it as an anti air as often as possible. Dormammu gets a little too close and does take some damage from it. Can't do it again though. One pipe away. Careful how you up back, tried. but there, yeah. yeah, absolutely, the pipe comes through. He knew the Dormammu assist was coming, and it looked like he was positioning to try and do something about it, but unfortunately, you can't deal with, as Chris and his limited tools in the air, you can't deal with pipe and the Dormammu. No, just not, not at all. You need the space. As long as you have time to put the flamethrower out, yes. Like not able to connect. He gets the jump loop on the way down. She-Hulk so tall. It's rough, man. He's able. Hagar's able to pretty much just do what he wants when he wants to climb that. Damn. Okay. Got her on call. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Pitch <laughs> the hard tag. Does get away. Super is blocked. Stocking player to keep it safe though. Alpha counter right into it. Looking for the reset. I like getting She-Hulk in there, though. Of all the characters on your team, that's the one you want to give away in a spot like that. Yeah, you don't want to be left with Anchor She-Hulk, man. That, that's that's pretty rough to deal with. Okay, great throw from Kiddo here. Push to the corner, able to get the loops. Torpedo just a little late on the call. Okay, raw tag back and forth between the two. They are just uh, pretty liberally switching characters. <laughs> for the pipe, does connect here for Kiddo. He's gonna be able to get the kill on Chris here. Oh no, the drop! And he's able to wake up with a throw. Misses out on his own OTG and gets headbutted to death, bro. Looking for the meaty, just a little late on it. Oh, but that jump there lost all of his priority on the ground, unfortunately. Oh, no. Dark Hole able to catch Spencer in the air. Dude, especially against teams that have Hagar on it, uh, you have to have a plan when you jump. If you jump in odd places like that, you just kind of give away priority, and you know that Larry is the perfect answer to whatever you're kind of scheming in the air. 
There he's too good, man. There we go. Cash out. Level three. Yes. No, oh! you have to wait. It's just like when you use S. It, that bounce when they hit the ground puts him off the ground. It goes underneath him. That's a rough one. What a throw here from Kiddo. X Factor. Going to take the Spencer out, but no. Messed up the DI. I got this one. Yup. Grabbed yeah. her by the leg. Absolutely. Is she right. She got it. No, oh, missed the slide. Able to get the throw, though. Goes straight into the super. Doesn't want to overcomplicate it. Definitely the right call. One more. Yeah, get her out. And that's lucky that killed too, because you don't get the rest of that super. It does use your wall bounce. That's crazy. Why'd they do that to her? Eh, she needs it. <laughs> but either way, the double drop kick, not enough. There, but the Lariat. St. Valentine tries to steal some space. It's not going to be enough. The dash up Lariat. Jason Kiddo. Back once again. I'm just saying, where are the Marvel players? We got a thousand dollar prize pool for TNS9. Plot bonus provided by Arc Forge, so I need to sign up. Yo. So <laughs> what is he doing? As B Man, the big liar, is actually, <laughs> I told you. is actually playing the Nemesis. I'm more interested in uh, Total Euphoria's team, though. Hagar and Thor on the same team. We got two guys who really ain't moving. See what he can make work with a nemesis though he's got that long range tentacle there finds the throw is able to get the super off of it here so hagar is gonna die no no much more to see from him for the next one to come in unfortunately falls into a little bit of that zoning from iron oh. man and repulsor blast is so strong for stopping those approaches and again able to catch with strider as well <laughs> Smart bomb at the top. Strider confirm. Oh. Well, not enough, but the down heavy rocket just barely clips him in the shins. Yeah, I got to catch the super right here. And it's time to go for the X Factor after the wall bounce. Doesn't. Oh, it scales a little too hard, though. Isn't able to get the full confirm. Makes things a little weird now, knowing that Scroll can go crazy at any moment. He, he can be a wild X Factor anchor. Off the teleports, they get crazy. <gasps> Hesitation oh. had the kill for sure. Inferno. Okay, yeah, that does catch. One of the dangers of plinking with scroll though. Misses oh. out on the combo on the raw tag. B-Man drops this combo again though. Extractor's running out. You need something now. That's a good start. Doesn't get rid of anything afterwards, though. Tries to dash up. B-Man just dashes straight back to the ground. Oh, he could have had to throw off the wall clean. Mm, and the second time in a row, in that situation, probably could have gone for the throw off the wall clean, too. To make a character change here, maybe? Put Thor a point. Switch the order up, potentially. I mean, Nemesis felt like the problem for sure. Iron Man did come in and do really good work, but Nemesis set the pace so well. And even after uh, getting hit by the super and breaking out of the super armor, was able to go for the tag and safely get out. You can tell how comfortable V-Man is with Nemesis, though. Pretty strange instead. I like the strategy here, too. Thor definitely a little bit more mobile than Hagar. Has that air dash. If you know how to use it properly, you can zip around a little bit. And having that Doctor Strange assist to kind of lock your opponent down just like that so you can work your way in there. Tentacles. Okay. That's a scary thing, right? Nemesis starts swinging buttons, and unless it's launcher, you don't know what he can cancel into next. It could be frame trapping into something with armor. Who knows? So you've got to be careful. Oh, big whiff there from the forward H, though. Oh, missed out with the stone smite, wasn't able to get the OTG. Faked out on the command throw, was trying to get him to go for something there. He tried to pull Shibby with Nemesis. Here we go. We're going to get some big damage on Iron Man, though. And we're going to keep Nemesis. Oh, ne no way. He go for the level three. Still gets him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and B-Man wins the tournament. <laughs> ah, if you land this, if you land that, you automatically win it. Had to go for the super to follow up. Might go for the X. Is going to just because, but it doesn't work out. Oh, you teleported and he threw you anyway. So get back over there. Oh, looking for the command throw. It's the hardest read right there. 
Okay, air throw into the corner. Way too far to be able to go in afterwards. And he just gets the jumping S to swing in that thing and the reset to follow. Yo, Mustard Pie coming through with five gifted subs. Big shots to homie Mustard Pie. Thank you so much for that support. Ooh, almost got to crouch. H, gotta use the X Factor here though. Drop of knee looked good, but it's not gonna look good enough. Not gonna lie though, Mustard Pie doesn't sound very delicious. You know, there are <laughs> a lot of better choices for pie. I definitely hey, agree. You name yourself what you want, homie. Look at okay. the delay on the buns there from B-Man. Wasn't quite able to get the Strider assist though. A little shimmy back and forth, doesn't find anything for it. Looks for the command throw. Strider assist does knock him to the ground. Yeah, it's too bad Launcher does an OTG from Nemesis. You know, if they gave him that, he'd be so much better. If he had his own OTG, that'd be really good. Rocket Launcher are OTGs, but yeah, I think Nemesis, uh, and the tentacles are coming from the ground. Why does it not OTG? It's not gonna make him OP. I agree. You know what? Oh, oh my god! Dude, the again, straight up again. the command throw! Give me another one. That was so sick, bro. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna choose to follow up after the double command throw. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the flight! Snapped his neck with that. B-Man, all the tricks, gets the air throw reset just because, looks for the low, and does find it in the end. Wow. Bro. Kind of a bully, low-key. Yeah, I got a bully, bully bro. trying to style on him a little too <laughs> hard. There we go. One of these guys is going to qualify for top eight here on the loser side. Young legend, like I said, been dominant so far, except for the one match that we saw against, uh, who did he lose to? It was I don't remember. Who do you guys not know? As what soon you as you put me on the spot, I yeah. deleted everything. Mario, Mario. Mario. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys do here? Hey, I'm just saying nobody else did. Production <laughs> had to look it up, he didn't know. <laughs> there we go. Young legend doing pretty well against Captain Troy though. Captain Troy was actually getting to play his main team the main team is the Justin Wong team. Oh, the drop there on S. Okay, Iron Fist putting in a little bit of extra work here. Tries to go for the double roll. Finesse is a little too close to the sun. Some extra damage here on Cap because of it. He's going to X Factor yeah, and try Yeah, he said you got to go. Off. I like that. Getting that momentum on your side there. Ooh, catch him with a low, but no meter. Almost had the pick up again. Oh my goodness. The Ooh. mix up, yeah, the mix up is crazy. Chip out is crazy too. Just hey, just uh, anti RS. I like that. So for the flight too, as we said before, Storm's movement is very good. She has so much aerial control. She's able to stall in the air for so long. Great at killing X Factor time. Yeah, you don't want to deal with Akuma's X Factor. He can literally destroy your team in one touch. And the flight continues. Easy peasy, times it out completely. No harm, no foul here for Captain Troy. And he finds a hit afterwards. Even with the drop, it's still a great trade. Oh no, Hailstorm's gonna win out. Yeah, and then wins the game as well. Captain Troy first on the board here. Mm, ground start gets the tech. Akuma assist ends up clearing out in the end. Yeah, Troy definitely did the right thing, X Factor and Captain America in the last game. He knows where the danger is. Mm, drops out in kind of a weird way. Akuma does a good job, but in return, his own Akuma, they're best friends for a reason. I miss that. You know, Wolverine and Akuma together. Oh, same side stand H. He said, look at us, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> Reunited. <laughs> <laughs> nice snap. Hey, okay, but the back throw overcommits a little bit or maybe mistimes the meaty. Either way, it's a great way to match the throw there for Young Legend. Oh, dash out, man. Storm does not have to deal with that mix up. Oh, what a raw S from Legend here. Yeah, he just dashes right underneath Storm while she's in the air. Taking advantage of that situation. Great X Factor usage as well. 
Ooh, the mix-up was good, but unfortunately things don't work out. Tries to go for the super. Iron Fist actually beats it clean. Actually protects Akuma from eating the rest of that super there. All right, he's going to be forced to X-Factor here. Do you see that? He can just walk freely Dude. around that? That is cheap, bro. No way. Off <laughs> the Hadouken? The game was confused. The game said no way. <laughs> like three interactions in a <laughs> row that I've never seen. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so off the start, Legend's showing why you gotta X-Factor this cap. First Super Connects, DHC gonna very easily finish, but instead, he's gonna go for a reset here, and it does end up working out. Good catch there from Young Legend. Did he go for a double cartwheel? I think he did. Because <laughs> I respect it. Oh, Light Shield on the way back. Just perfectly executed from Young Legend here. Two bars again. Only going to need the one, though. All right, Akuma's coming in, though. Able to block the mix-up. He's going to get a little piece of Iron Fist. Not going to do anything with it, though. Teleports right into his death, potentially. Oh, Raw Launcher? Oh, he had a lot of time Yeah, there. he had all day for that. The Neokarsh tech? Wow, that was... Oh, feel, good I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all down to the anchors. The mirror match. No, the DP doesn't work. And he tried to save the meter. Almost costed himself for it. DP's going to catch. Oh, and he's able to convert that perfectly with a demon flip. But no, he Tatsu's accidentally. Oh. He could have just supered there and called it a day. He could have still supered there and called it a day. Chip damage. Stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Young legend out here with the Akuma though, stunting like his daddy. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, dude, the return of the shield skills has been absolutely killing so far. But again, that double cartwheel, like you said. Right, he's he just pushing it. I don't know if he's mashing it or doing it intentionally, but it's working out. He said Akuma gotta go. I like that snap. Follow-up should easily kill. It is like a kind of a weird confirm for Wolverine, but with that team super and Akuma being solo life, it's easy finish. Ooh, the cross under low, able to catch Iron Fist here for Troy. Oh, okay, we got these. Oh, no, we don't have those. Freeze. Legend probably going to try and go for attack at some point here. How is he going to be able to find it, though? Got Stan M. I don't know if attack is actually necessary here. Captain America is not a terrible anchor compared to Iron Fist. Okay, and it looks like that is going to be the call here. So five bars built up. Unfortunately, no dark transformation for our captain here. There we go. That's a good start. Got to X that. Make sure Wolverine is dead. Yeah, it might have been better off just after the shield slash X factoring and doing a full combo for the kill. Spent two meters for it, but you know, you still got plenty on deck, so it's okay. It's more or less, can you catch Storm though? Yeah, it's not looking like it right now. Katakuma! Oh, but Captain Troy takes that, uses that to his advantage. That's a decent bet, I think. If you kind of bet on him to not go for the punish there, you gotta, you're gotta trying to take a risk of some kind. I like it. Yeah, 100%, I think that's a smart play. Like you gotta take what you can be, you know, what you can get. And if you don't kill Lacuna there, you're still dealing with Storm anyway, and she's doing a great job running away from you. So why not? Maybe just a color switch up here. Get ourselves back in. Not expecting a character Ooh. swap. This has been a really, really good team comp so far from Young Legend. I've liked it a lot. Here we go, into the final game. Young Legend, can he keep it together? Is Captain Troy gonna be able to clutch up? It's a good start for Troy here, getting the air throw. Really hard to kill Cap off a throw, though. Yeah, yes, sir. yeah, snap. Oh, had it with the H on the way down. Raw S. Yeah, no way you were believing in that launcher, though. That was definitely a Hail Mary. Oh, caught him on the cross up there. Able to get the charge going for the install. Should be able to kill here. Yeah, Hail Mary indeed, but unfortunately it looks like it was stoned by the Jets. 
I think that I think I read somewhere <laughs> the Jets quarterback has led the league in interceptions for the last like five seasons. I mean, he did. Uh, he almost broke an NFL record today through a, uh, or not uh, today, but yesterday through a 99-yard touchdown just for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky! <laughs> nice air throw. <laughs> Goes for the snap. Yeah, once by Iron Fist on anchor, try to take the cap out of this situation. Okay, and this should be an X Factor every time. Oh, yeah. All right, keeping it nice and simple here. Don't need anything fancy. And here we go, all up to the masked man, and it's not going to work out. Captain Troy is moving on the top eight. Young Legend finds the end of his run here. But you know what? That was a really good performance from the young legend this bracket. It's an Area 51, <laughs> brother. Say we're gonna have to raid him again, dude. <laughs> oh man, here we go. The jump man off the start, trying to close that distance a little bit at a time here. Magnum is gonna be the gun of choice pretty much always for Chris, just because the reward is so damn high if he does hit it. Yo, Schizo coming through with a sub 22nd month. Thank you so much, homie. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. Gotta watch that assist call. Good job throwing these flame grenades where he can to kind of mark his territory as he steps forward there. Zempool hesitation when he was close enough for the throw. That's scary though. Oh, he's sniping Ami, he got her. Chips adding up for Chris as well. Alpha counter, okay, good spot to put it. Okay. This is so hard using that jumping medium to great effect. He gets both. Oh, oh wow. okay. Okay. I like that. My dude knew. Living Legend says TNS Detroit before DBFC gets rollback. Your grandkids will be playing Marvel 3 before DBFC gets rollback. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, jump, man. What a comeback. And what a sick confirm with the X Factor with Wesker. I didn't know he could get him with both uh, with a crouch light. I, was, uh, I think it was a crouch medium. Was it me? No, medium's the, the one. But he hit him with the hands, I thought. I thought it was light. I, I didn't, maybe I didn't, I'm remembering crazy. But uh, yeah, either way, that was sick. In there, trying to set up the grenade for both of them. Chris's grenade a little more influential in this one, though. Gets that extra damage on Akuma and then backs off. Corky J said it was crouch medium. I trust Corky J over Southpaw Flash. Southpaw Flash. I can't trust you, Southpaw, because your name is Southpaw. And you're not left-handed. <laughs> Only in certain video games. Tesla Gears of War. Gears of War. <laughs> OTG. He X factors just to make sure. No, he doesn't get it though, but it doesn't matter the shoulder throw. How are you doing judo in midair? Oh, what a check there. Let's go for the overhead. Mm, the slowdown. Maybe thought he was going to get the confirm. Zempool, those combos don't work. Tatsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Does manage to get away, though, in the scrap. Yeah, back to neutral here. Jumpman trying to figure out his approach here. Using Cold Star is a great tool. Avoided Tatsu altogether. Oh, right down at him. Okay, back up a little bit, trying to standing heavy, great teleport there, is able to get over the fireball. Yo, Kevin coming through with a sub, 17 months. Thank you so much, homie. Okay, pressure with fireballs. Trying to slow things down. Obviously the solo character here, you don't want to be too overly aggressive. Fireball saves the day. Oh, the spacing there. Yeah, great patience, great awareness from Jumpman. Wow, and their Team Hyper combo is actually pretty good together, too. Okami Shuffle gets the knockdown. I think he gets to shoot him again at the end for the, for the reset. I would like to see that. Two games for Jumpman. Maybe that worry was misplaced, but if the game can start like this, potentially not. You can never count out Zenpool, man. The HC. I knew it wasn't going to be able to kill. Does vamp a meter out of him, though, because of the guns. And he gets, almost gets the punish. Overhead does connect here for Zen. Oh, 
X Factor, yeah, got to do the quick work loops. Yeah, because of the help on Chris there and being able to put yourself with high momentum, this is a good call. <laughs> Just a fireball. The nothing mix up looking crazy right there. Just crouches and launchers. Doesn't get the kill though. In my opinion, this is probably Slow the scary. Down. This is the scariest car uh, character for Jumpman. So if he can keep the dog alive, he's got a really good opportunity. Oh, what an S there. Yo, Sentient 12, thank you so much for coming to the sub. 19 months with us. Okay, Zempool not done yet. That first clean hit, being able to get that advantage on Chris was more than enough to snowball the whole game there. Went right after Wesker, man. Dang, no, he has that fireball behind him. Didn't want to go for the teleport, though. Had a, there's a potential for a mix-up there. If you can make him block guns while you have Hadouken coming behind, it's usually an easy teleport. Guy main coming through with the gifts up. Thank you so much, homie. Appreciate the support. We, the we haven't seen a lot out of this Ami here other than putting putting Zenpo in the slow a bunch. Oh, we might see something now, though. Okay, just going to set up for the mix-up here. Paper actually stops the raw tag, but it doesn't stop Zenpool. Nice, clean confirm. Ooh, Phantom Dance is going to catch. Oh, and a great oh. pickup there. A little, little style on it. Just because, you know. Yeah, we're not eating turkey for Thanksgiving, bro. We're putting a little spice on our food. Okay, oh, for the bait, quick work actually chases him down to the teleport. Still okay, though. Oh, almost with the conversion there. A little hesitation. Doesn't matter, though. Drops down with it. People's elbow. Oh, okay. Get a oh, no, he got hit. Oh, you heard the projectile counter. Definitely scheming down here. It's definitely a one-touch game for E. Oh, no, it's no longer a one-touch game because he didn't get the super... Well, he didn't get the combo for the level three setup, but that's all right. Sonder will come through with the sub seven months with us. Thank you so much. Gobble, gobble, TNS, maybe after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the wake up demon unfortunately does not work out. Jumpman with the teleport says nothing personal. Like the shot, man. Very good stuff.